News 46 is brought to you in part by Ari's Mexican Inn, delicious, authentic Mexican cuisine. Lunch and dinner. Try our sizzling, mouthwatering fajitas, chili ranos, tacos, burritos, and more. Open 11 to 9, Monday through Saturday. Dine in or take out. Have your party or meeting in our banquet room. Ari's Mexican Inn on Calvada, 537-1100 during the campaign that I would uh, mention them in the first meeting and I'm already working on a few. We have a resolution to start each meeting with prayer. Uh, I have a resolution that hopefully will be forward in, uh, in February in support of Yucca Mountain. We've never publicly as a board come out in support of Yucca Mountain. Um, uh, quite a few other things, things to deal with planning. And I, I guess the one with prayer has caused a little concern with people and I don't know why it would. Uh, uh, we're uh, contrary to what the president says. We are a Christian nation. We're, uh, as evidenced by the Mayflower conflict, the compact, and all of the uh, actions of our founding fathers. Uh, they opened their first meetings with prayer. They opened this. The, the federal government opens each session of Congress with prayer. And uh, if that doesn't fly, if they don't want to have prayer, and they think that's establishing a little religion, which it isn't. Um, then a moment of silence. Just uh, we realize we're not the final arbiters of our own fate. You know, there is somebody else we all answer to. And um, when is this going to be on the agenda? Hopefully, it'll be on January 18th. It's being reviewed by the DA right now, and I uh, hope to hear from him in the next day or two, so we can get it on the agenda for the 18th. But uh, we'll see as soon as we can. Uh, just something I'd like to do. It's something I've been asked to do by uh, my constituents, and uh, that's who I'm here for. I, I represent the people in my district. Uh, and please come out to the meeting and, and call me and email me and tell me why you support or don't support it. Um, mm -hmm. And we'll go from there. That's all I'm here to do is uh, represent the people of my district uh, the best way we can and to get things moving forward. And with the moment of peace, that would be to give people the opportunities to um, to pray to whichever that they would like, whether it's a Christian prayer or whatever divinity, whatever divinity they have. That's fine. Even atheists have a divinity. I mean, it's either themselves or it's humanity, you know. Uh, everybody holds something higher than themselves, uh, and if they don't, that's kind of sad. And um, how's it been going since uh, you became commissioner? Well, well, well good, uh, great staff to work with. Uh, you got five different personalities here on the board, and uh, we just work to find common ground. And uh, you know, we all work within in mind that we represent uh, our district and we represent the county as a whole, and uh, great people to work with. I know that uh, you were talking about Yucca Mountain. Um, Gary Hollis, uh, Commissioner Gary Hollis, tends to lean towards the Yucca Mountain project. And uh, this commissioner's building right here, um, it's the home of the Yucca Mountain um, government complex. And uh, is the Yucca Mountain a dead issue? No, it's not a dead issue. Harry Reid uh, uh, would like it to be. Harry talks about all the jobs he's created. He's killed tons out there. He's... He stopped us from getting what would be at least $50 million a, a, a year mm -hmm. if it was uh, online. We spent $11 billion on a hole in the ground. He wants to leave it as a hole in the ground. That's real good oversight there, Harry. Uh, yes, Commissioner Hollis has come out publicly before in favor of it. I've been in favor of it for a number of years now. Uh, my three grandchildren live here. If I thought it was unsafe, I wouldn't support it. It's safe. It's uh, a huge uh, benefit to the county. Even now we're losing money because of uh, the cuts that he's instigated, but we have a new Congress now and we're hoping to let them know that uh, that we want it. And again, I don't speak for the board. Don't, you know, I don't want the, any other board members calling me and saying me, I'm, I'm not speaking for anybody. I speak for myself and I'm going to, the resolution will give us a chance as a board to uh, say publicly that we support uh, the Yucca Mountain Project. If that's what they decide to do, again, uh, I know Gary's come out publicly, I've been public, and we'll see what they decide. Uh, I know that there's concerns that it's not the political, the right political move, and that Harry might cut us off from other funding, and I'm not good with politics. If I believe in it, I'm going to tell you I believe in it. And uh, and if that's, if, if Harry, you know, wants to do what he wants to do, he can, and hopefully in six years we'll find somebody else to replace him. I mean, as evidenced by what he's done in a lame duck session, approving a treaty in a lame duck session. This guy's just... I'm not making any friends with Harry today, I'm sure. So.